Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We will be doing part two of 15 fun cross social activities to do in the fall, but I thought we'd take a quick break from that and do a fun little quick tutorial. So all you are gonna need is water watercolors. Editing Addie Camp. I neglected to remind you that you are going to need a brush, like a paintbrush, some water, maybe like a paper towel to wipe off your brush, and um, is that it? And paper. So yeah, you can if you want. Like, of course, you always have the option to do this in pencil and paper or a little, whatever. Anyway. So if you would like to use a pencil first, that is great. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right with watercolors. So let's get right into it. Okay, so yes, now that you have your watercolor, I would suggest kind of a smaller brush. Because with watercolor, you don't really want it to be too big. I mean, honestly though, if you want it to be big, go. You know, do that big. But for me, I'm gonna have it be a little bit smaller. So I think I'll be using um, this brush right here. I don't know what size it is. Let's not say what size it is. Anyway, but let's go ahead and let me grab the camera so I can show you guys. Alright, so we are ready for the next part. And I've mixed up kind of like a burnt orange, yellowy, like gold color because I know some people who have in pacifiers that are that color and I just adore them. I think they're adorable. So, yeah. So first, we're gonna draw a line that comes. All right, we're ready to start. We're gonna make a line that curves in, and then it's gonna come up and out a little bit, so kind of like a very slight sad face. And then it's gonna come up and, oh, you can see my brush is cracking. I didn't mean to make those two lines separate, but once, you fi once I fix that, then we're gonna make a huge circle, but don't cap it off at the end, don't finish it. Stop right about where I am right now. And then I'm gonna draw the same thing that I did on the other side out, like that, and then up and in. So out and in just a little bit. And then basically, I'm going to color this whole thing in really fast. And you don't want it to come straight because then it'll start looking kinda like a balloon. You want it to curve a little bit. So let's go ahead and color it in. All right, let's go ahead and from right about where your circle ended, draw a line that comes up just a tiny bit and it can touch the pacifier a little bit. And then it comes up and to a point and then goes down, 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 down and all around the pacifier. It stops about there. And then it curves again to come up. And so this becomes a circle around the pacifier. So we made a line that comes up like that and out. And suddenly we're done with that part. And then we're gonna make a scoop underneath it. And then that scoop is gonna come up and that's gonna be kind of like a handle. And so right outside of it, draw another line scoop. That way it looks like an actual line. And then you can also add little details like this and go around your shapes a little bit to make it look more 3D, but no need to. So from here on out, I'm gonna do some fast wording and I'm gonna be basically just coloring this in.
so from here on out, I am done coloring the pacifier. And as you can see, I'm gonna start doing the background. And so you can follow along with me if you like, or you can do your own background. So I'm just using different colors of yellows and oranges to blend in a fun way. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video if you want to hit the like button and subscribe down below if you haven't already and if you are thank you so much and have a great day goodbye